welcome to the channel thank you everyone for tuning in so as you can see in front of you today guys we are going to be looking at a watch from Bowderry and they have sent us a miniature shipping container which we need to open like the packaging you know China do surprise us uh, everyone's trying to get new packaging all the time uh, and it is nice to look at something different than those pelican cases let's have a look what this watch is uh, you've got your uh, warranty card etc and booklet and here is the watch it's a titanium field watch and you'll probably recognize this as being quite close to the boulder watches which is why i went for this particular color option they do a total of five colorways in this uh they are quite different as well quite unique they do a salmon pink uh, with blued hands on a field watch it does look kind of different um and they also do a nh36 version with a date date you know at 4 p.m again which looks odd this one i mean this one looks probably the cleanest for me um and it, as i said it reminded me of one of the boulder field watches um so i thought let's go for this and now the main thing with baudry is though looking at looking at them as a brand have they finally done it have they finally made a watch which is good uh if you guys recall they've given me a few watches over the past couple of years and they just haven't really hit their mark so here we are with this baldry titanium field watch so specs as i've alluded to roughly sapphire ns35 and full titanium case they don't really specify which type of titanium but it's it's not really important uh, it's fully sandblasted uh, so you get a total field watch look uh, and obviously with it being so lightweight um yeah there's hardly anything to it now you can get this in a bracelet or a a cloth strap like you see here uh, and they did provide me with a bracelet also so i will change it over to see how you know everything matches and which one's best now in terms of dimensions this is 40 millimeters at the diameter with a thickness of around 12.2 12.3 millimeters uh, a logged lug of 48 so slightly longer lugs and a log width of 22 mil uh, as opposed to the normal 20 mil that we see now the craziest thing about this watch is though currently the sales are going on i don't know when this video will get released maybe it'll be after the sale event but this was 106 110 pound uh, and in the sales this is 66 pounds guys that's ridiculous now you're getting titanium nh35 uh field watch um and you know pretty decent looks from what i can see so far for 66 pounds I don't know how AliExpress do it, guys. I don't know where the money is. It does make you question then what's the actual cost price of these products and are we still paying too much when we spend 150 quid on a watch from China? Uh, and that is that is frightening. You know, honestly, that is very frightening. So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's take a closer look at what we have. This is the dial uh, and I've gone for that whitish silvery dial. Um, and the quality is fairly decent. You've got the Baudry logo. It's all fully printed. The Minute Track is in line with the field watches. I like the different things they've done there. That railway sectioned off Minute Track plus those orange hour markers in between does separate it. Gives it that real good uh, and rounded field watch look. Then you've got your black numerals uh, and then you've got your concentric sort of 24 hour time. Um, the only thing I'd say that the, the printing isn't as crisp as it is on others. There's a slight difference between if you can look at the number 17, 15, the bottom end slightly thicker, uh, 19. But if anything, it adds just a bit of character to the watch. I don't think it's defective or anything like that. So I wouldn't really call it out otherwise. Uh, and then you've got your Voyager automatic in red. Uh, that red tip on that second hand uh, and of course these little baton stick style hands so i think aesthetically this watch does actually look good um, and as i said when i chose it it reminded me of the boulder field watch and i think they've done really well so far um, it, it looks good there's nothing really off-putting about this initially uh, and you know for the the main part about this watch i want to talk about is the actual case because that is the strangest thing which i find um, i've not seen this style of case before you've got it's not asymmetrical as such but you've got these sort of shoulder guards uh for lugs and it kind of looks like uh, a circular watch placed onto a bund strap yeah um which is the case so it, it is a very different look and it's again good to have a different look though um you know you, you do kind of get bored from looking at the same thing again so i think what baudry have done uh it's it's really well made uh the finishing is you know sandblasted all over it's pretty unique it's pretty uniform uh, and nice and clean for the most part and i like this dial version so let's check out the loom and then we'll try this watch on the bracelet so the loom is quite poor uh it's some 14 loom uh there's not that many layers applied in all honesty uh and it's patchy fading already didn't really pick up any any juice from the lights 
Um, and the other thing that they've loomed the counterbalance also as well as the dot um, so you don't really know in the dark which way around the second hand is moving um, and I would have liked to have the dial markers loomed as well uh, just so you can see the markers and you see that on watches like Bolton etc and fuel watches uh, but aside from that you know the loom is quite poor on this watch now while the loom is really poor on this watch I don't think it's a deal breaker um, I mean I wouldn't look at this and buy it for the loom I think it still looks uh, unique enough and I think also with the price of just £66 in the sales um, it's definitely one to get if you really like this you know different and unorthodox case so let's try the bracelet um, well let's put this on wrist first with this um, NATO strap or this canvas strap and as far as canvas straps go this is pretty nice I mean I don't like them so not nice but it's got a few features on there and uh, it, it feels solid honestly it does uh, it's probably the best feeling one that I've seen in terms of quality um, but as I said I'm not really a fan of them but so let's see how this looks so the NATO strap is as most NATO straps do or canvas straps uh, so 40 millimeters in case diameter and 48 mil log to log it fits quite well on the wrist I've got a six and a half inch wrist uh, you still get that little flappy bit of the NATO um but you know I, I really like the dial setup uh, i don't know what it is about this particular watch or this particular setup that i do really like that i don't know really how i feel about those lugs uh, but i do know they are interesting and they are different to what you usually see out there so for baldry to come up with this after what i'd consider not great watches and uh, the last two watches that i looked at i think it's definitely a bonus first thing i've just spotted now is that they are supply uh, quick release spring bars on a bracelet which is awesome uh, it forgives the crappy loom uh, but will it forgive this stamped clasp so i don't know right i mean this is where the cost saving is even at 100 pound uh, post sale or 66 pound in sale i mean the the clasp you know it's it's stamped you can't really moan can you um because they've put i think quite a lot of effort everywhere else um and i think baldry really uh, do kind of want the sales uh, and because like i said the other two watches they didn't really sell too much or maybe they did I just didn't like them, um, but yeah, very light uh, and yeah, titanium does give you that effect of just an awfully light watch and awfully light bracelet. Um, so we're gonna put this on and let's see what we get. Now, one thing also to note that the watch case it does use fat boy spring bars, so I think these are like two mil plus. So yeah, it does get kind of confusing where certain elements of the watch are really good and then you know you kind of pull back on other elements so here's the Baldry titanium voyager on my six and a half inch wrist on the titanium bracelet and instantly i'll tell you guys uh, don't bother with with the titanium bracelet um it's not that nice you know uh, i prefer it on a cloth strap or a canvas strap any other strap except uh one of these titanium bracelets even though it does have quick release bars um you know that milled clasp and just the general rattle of this bracelet is not nice because it's titanium uh, you can hear all sorts of noises coming from the links and, and the pins that they're using to hold this together uh, and also what i found is that unless i've fitted it incorrectly you know the the watch does this so the end links open and close um possibly a ventilation feature um but yeah i mean they should they should sit in without moving so much so you know I, I look at watches in two ways um i don't look at price first so if i look at this as a watch okay obviously the bracelet is a no-go uh the loom is poor uh, but i think they've done enough on the case to save themselves i like the dial i like the colors used on there uh, i like the construction of the dial and i like that 4 p.m crown you know with the date there so i like everything else about the watch which is basically on the case um and you know don't mind wearing it on a different type of strap because some watches are just made for straps rather than bracelets now if i bring the price into consideration of 66 pounds as i said earlier or even 100 pound post sale then you know i can forgive a lot more um and what i'd say to you is i wouldn't i would not bother with the bracelet just go for the strap um and you don't expect amazing loom and then you've actually got another five colors to choose from uh, and because the case is different enough um, to warrant you buying one and putting it in a collection just for the sake of it or actually trying it out uh, because it is comfortable the case is very different to look at um, and yeah I do like that general look it's got going for it but guys yeah stay away from this bracelet it's awful 
um, and don't expect too much to lose. So that's it for me today, guys, on Baldry Voyager. They've done significantly better than they did on the previous models. Uh, I wish them the best of luck and maybe they come up with a watch that blows all our minds collectively. Uh, so that's it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.